Expecto Patronum! Mrs. Weasley is very keen on cleaning. Not the brightest, is he? I solemnly swear he isn't the brightest. I must not tell lies. Ah! She's not letting us use magic. That's because Fudge thinks Dumbledore is using Hogwarts to form a wizard army. Great. Voldemort's on the move and Fudge is as good as helping him. What are we supposed to do? We've got to be able to defend ourselves. And if Umbridge refuses to teach us how, then we need someone who will. Are you talking, Gargoyle? You normally talk to ones that guards speak. I don't normally talk to gargoyles. Or should imagine many gargoyles are grateful for that. Oh, Ron. With girls, it's what we don't say that matters. You should write a book. Translating mad things girls do so boys can understand them. There's no way I would have ignored Professor McGonagall when I was a first year. No, of course not, Ronald. In your first year, all you did was fight a troll, save an illegal dragon, and ignore the advice of Professor Dumbledore so Harry could fight Professor Quirrell. When are you going to teach us something useful? How about Harry teaches us how to keep your big gob shut? That'd be useful. It's okay, Ron. I know just the spell to teach Zacharias. I'm sure Zacharias won't mind if he helps you show the others the spell. Yes, here it is. Richter Sempra. You need to target your spell and then gesture with your wand like this. Just stand there, Zacharias, and let me show everyone what to do. Rick the Sempra! Keep going! This will stop those inquisitors. Ah! Get up! I stopped that, Zacharias. Brilliant! Well done, everyone! Hey! I haven't had a chance to practice it yet! Oh, sorry, Zacharias. That's all the time we have to practice that spell. Maybe you can do it another time. That was a great lesson, Harry. <laughs> Harry? Hi, Harry. I can't wait for this lesson. Are we going to do something exciting? I bet we are. Uh, yeah. Can we blow something up? Or try and turn someone into a ferret? Or what's that spell where you make somebody completely free so they can't move? Petrificus Totalis. Okay. This is quite a simple spell, but it's very useful. To paralyze an opponent, you need to point your wand and tap it, as I'm doing. Petrificus Petrificus! Petrificus Petrificus! Wow! Harry, you're the greatest teacher ever! Thanks. Let's teach the others. Are you ready to teach us something? Can we do something cool? Please, Harry. I'll see what I can find. Come on, Harry. You must know something good you can teach us. I think I know just the spell. How about this one, Harry? Reducto. Didn't you use that during the Triwizard Tournament? It says, you need to aim, then move your wand like this. Reducto! 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 Brilliant! Well done, Ginny. Blowing things up comes naturally when you've grown up with Fred and George. Right. Let's see if anyone here is as good as Ginny. Thanks for teaching that to us, Harry. Hi, Harry. What are you going to teach us today? As it's the last lesson before Christmas, could you teach us something fun? I think I know just the thing. Can you turn to Levy Corpus, Hermione? Hmm. Right. It says here that you hold your wand up and move it like this. Levy Corp. Okay, Joe, just watch what I do. 
Levi Corbett! Keep going! Keep going! Careful! I said I believed you, Harry. Don't worry, you did quite well. Okay, no, you were terrible, but I know you can do it. I watched you while we were doing the other spells. You did? Yeah. Uh, come on, let's teach the spell to the others. Don't go, Harry. I... I want to talk to you. Are you all right? You're a really good teacher, Harry. Mistletoe. Um... Explain now. We have to find Professor McGonagall. Come on! Now, where do you think you're going at this hour? It's Ron's dad. He's been attacked by a snake. Harry was screaming in his sleep. I wasn't dreaming. Mr. Weasley collapsed. I saw it. Calm down. I believe you, Potter. Now, you and Mr. Weasley will go straight to the headmaster's office. I will collect young Ginny and your brothers. Off you go now. There's no time to waste. Come on, Harry. Let's get to Dumbledore's office. Are you all right, Harry? What's the hurry? Phineas, I need you to go to your portrait at Grimald Place. Tell them Arthur Weasley has been gravely injured. Professor, please! What's happening to me? You wished to see me, Headmaster? Yes, Severus. I'm afraid we daren't wait, even until morning. Potter, come with me. Sir! Now, Potter. Uh. Folks will go to Molly. We've made sure that your father will be found by the right people. Why am I here? What? You are here to learn occlumency, the art of magical mind defense. There is a connection between the Dark Lord's mind and your own. You must learn to control this. You mean he can read my mind? Read it, control it, unhinge it. If he becomes aware of the connection, occlumency will help you shield yourself. I am about to attempt to break into your mind. Led Jilly Men's. Adequate, Potter. For a first attempt, it was not as poor as it might have been. Will I have to do many lessons, sir? Evidence suggests that you are sharing the Dark Lord's thoughts and emotions. It is inadvisable that such a connection should be allowed to continue. Now clear your mind. Let go of all emotions. It's almost time for you to return to Hogwarts. Before you go, why don't you go and have some fun with your friends? Let Arthur know when you want to leave.
Harry, how are you? Fine. Must have been a shock seeing that happen to Mr. Weasley. We're glad you were able to warn us. If you hadn't, things could have become much more serious. Whatcha, Harry? Tonks, what's it like to be an Aura? That's what I want to be when I leave Hogwarts. Well, it's lots of hard work, but being a Dark Wizard catcher does have its rewards. I better warn you, though, there's lots of studying to do before you qualify. What are you doing, Ginny? Creatures been hiding things, so we can't throw them out. Mum's asked me to find anything we might have missed in here. Be careful, though. There's some really dangerous stuff in this house. Order of Merlin, first class. This was awarded to Sirius's grandfather. Sirius said his grandfather gave the Ministry lots of gold. Weird, isn't it? Sirius being related to someone who acts like Lucius Malfoy. They're related. Lucius Malfoy married Narcissa Black. That means Sirius has Draco in his family. No wonder Sirius doesn't want anything to do with them. Mm, let's see what else there is. Harry, mm, let's see what else there is. What's that book? Nature's Nobility, a wizarding genealogy. Nature's Nobility? Oh, let's see what else there is. Look at this. Hmm, won't open. Thanks, Harry. I think that's everything. I'd better pack. I'll see you later. Blood traitors! Abominations! Hi. Hi, Harry. Listen, mate, about my dad. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry? You saved his life. I'm not sure. I think... I think it was me who did it. It couldn't have been you, could it? Like mine is always saying, you can't leave Hogwarts magically. There's no way it could have been you. Have you seen Creature? I want to give him his Christmas present. No, I haven't seen him. feels as trapped as Sirius does. The noble and most ancient house of black. Lestrange. 
Baron Azkaban. I used to be there until Mother blasted me off. I hated a lot of them. Went to live with your father. You haven't seen Creature, have you? He's been missing for quite some time now. You don't think he could have left the house, do you? He might despise me, but he still has to have my permission. No, he's skulking around here somewhere. I'd better look for him. Are you all right, Mr. Weasley? Absolutely, Harry. St. Mungo's was an interesting experience. You know, a trainee healer there showed me some old muggle remedies. Did you know they use things called stitches to sew wounds back together? Fascinating. What really happened when you were attacked? It's very simple. I'd had a very long day, dozed off, got sneaked up on and bitten. Are you ready to go back to school? Yes, I'm ready to go. You should speak to Sirius. He's waiting for you in the tapestry room. If my mistress only knew the vermin infesting our house, it would break mistress's heart. My mother didn't have a heart. Now go away, creature. Whatever master wishes. Nasty brat. So, time to go back to Hogwarts. Seems like we're always saying goodbye. It won't always be this way. You're a good person, Harry. It's Hagrid! He's back! Hagrid! Where have you been all this time? Oh, well, that's a bit complicated, you see. What's going on, Hagrid? I can't leave without telling someone about him. About who? I couldn't just leave him. See, he's my brother, Grop. Well, half-brother. Grop, meet your new friend, Hermione! <sighs> Hey, Harry, hadn't you better get to Snape's office? You've got your next occlumency lesson. Thanks for reminding me. You're late, Potter. Inside. What just happened then, Potter? I've just realized. What's in the Department of Mysteries? What? I'd forgotten I'd seen it. When I've been there for the hearing, I've been dreaming about it. Voldemort's been thinking about it. What's there that he wants? There are many things in the Department of Mysteries, Potter. Few of which you would understand, and none of which concern you. Do I make myself plain? But... This lesson is over. 
Hi, Harry. Everyone's waiting for you in the room of requirement. Okay. I think the DA is going really well. Everyone's making such good progress. Lesson. It was all right. Harry, my aunt says you can produce a fully corporeal Patronus. Is that true? Yeah. It's a stag. Blimey, Harry! I never knew that! Why don't you teach us Expecto Patronum? All right, but you'll need to think of a really happy memory to get a powerful Patronus. Now copy me. Expecto Patronum! It's Umbridge! How did you find us? It doesn't matter! Run! Harry? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Run! <laughs> You're for it now, Potter! Rick <laughs> 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 